What is that? Is it Indie Hour? Is it CAG Duo? Is it CAG Core Survival? Is it TMA? No, 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 and fuck you! Welcome everybody to a special episode of the Daily Kick. Hope you all enjoyed Love Fest this week and are now spending Valentine's Day however you'd like. Whether that be with a significant other, with your family, friends, watching that new Fifty Shades of Grey, because, you know, I'm going to watch that shit. And, or just, uh, you know, pigging out on some chocolate, because uh, you're alone and you don't have anyone to spend it with. I asked the CAG crew and others the one game that they love to play, and why. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion and are free to express their own choices. So without further ado, let's begin, and I'll see you at the end of this episode. My favorite game is Pokemon Yellow. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why my favorite game is Pokemon Yellow. Probably just the nostalgia. Uh, uh, it's probably just the nostalgia of it. I, it was like one of my first games. I think my first game ever was Pokemon Red. So, of course, you'll see that one coming. Most people would say uh, that they like Pokemon Gold and Silver more. And I completely understand that. Um, I it Just my personal opinion, I like um, Yellow a lot more. Uh, next to that, I'd say my favorite game was uh, probably Halo Custom Edition or Combat Evolved. I guess Custom Edition doesn't really count, so Halo Combat Evolved. I can play that on any system at any time ever. So, yeah, oh, that's about it. Yeah. Speaking of Halo, I love Halo. Halo Combat Evolved was the first M rated game I ever played and introduced me to the genre of FPS. Halo 2 kept me enthralled in Halo's ever evolving campaign. But it wasn't until Halo 3 for my love of the series really began to take off. Many hours were spent in Halo 3's Forge, making custom maps that no one will ever see but me. Forge and custom games symbolize the creativity epicness of Halo's multiplayer and community. Have you ever gotten to a custom games lobby with 18 people and played some goofy ass maps? Shit's fun as fuck, man. There's a special place in my heart for Halo, and I will always continue to play it. The thing about Halo that no other game has ever done for me is that I can come back to Halo anytime after, let's say, for example, I have not played Halo Reach since we played that KP for a good 2-3 years, but I can pick it back up and know instantly how every weapon works, where everything is on the map, where the weapons are located, where the spawns, not all the spawns, but I'm not Adam, obviously, but it's just a game that you can just come back to and to instantly love, and with Halo Master Chief Collection, it was really nice, besides the fucking horrible ass launch and the multiplayer that just does not work. But once you get into a game and you play a Halo 3 multiplayer game, it, it takes you back, man. It takes you back. I've spent most of my gaming time playing things I love, like RuneScape, Minecraft, Don't Starve, and The Sims, because they allow me to customize my experience by giving me the option to set my own goals and challenges and allow me to collect things. Collecting things is cool. Collecting stuff is badass! Well, I play League of Legends uh, quite often. I wouldn't say that I love it, because I don't think anyone actually loves it. But, beside the point. I play it that's addicting as hell for no reason. I think I really play it for the community. The community is exquisite. Everyone in that game is a really nice person. They always help you out. They never flame you even if you make a mistake. All you make a mistake, all I do is help you out, you know? It's really nice. They're always there for you. It's an amazing community. I highly recommend you join it because everyone's just so nice and caring and kind. It's amazing. But uh, also, I'm the best at it. That's the reason why I play it because I'm so just gosh damn. Shout out to Ezreal because he's the best champion. Because I, I, I go into the lane, right click things, I press Q a lot. Sometimes I press E. Never press W's, that, that ability is garbage. And then when they try to run away, I press R, and that's how you play Ezreal. There you go, in depth guide. Uh, if you get Essence Reaver, you're first, you're terrible, and you can hang yourself. Um, and also, stop uh, getting blue and blue Ezreal, because I'll kill you. Yeah. Our good old friend from Twitch, who also made an appearance in Hoopa's episode 10, Gilgasms, told us that her favorite video game was Battletoads. The reason is, quote, 
It was a game that I grew up playing, and it was actually challenging. Still play it time to time. Colon, capital P. <laughs> Thank you, Lily, for that, and uh, we appreciate your feedback. Hopefully we'll see you in a future episode. Barney, as you may know from Pictionary, said he really loves DayZ. This guy has put hundreds of hours into this open world post-apocalyptic survival game. And he says, quote, There's just something about capturing a poor innocent man and force feeding him a banana that gives DayZ its fun and outrageousness. When prompted with the question, the only thing Brian did was look at me for a good 10 seconds. And then he whispered, Bioshock turning away, saying nothing more, nothing less. Hey, welcome back everybody. Hope you all enjoyed this special episode of Daily Kick. I know we all have different opinions, but we share one thing in common. We all love video games, and it's what we've been playing since we were little. And we will continue to play until we grow old and die. And, well, that's kind of sad, but... Thank you all for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. We'll see you later. Fucking Andrew, you piece of shit!